Tuesday the 28th of May 2024. It's currently 6.32am. I do need to go and take a shower. Actually I want to take a bath but there's someone in the bathroom that I want to use. So I'm currently looking for a quote for quotes of the vlog for the vlog that I was meant to release about a week ago. Someone commented yesterday about how I hadn't posted in 11 days and I thought that is true. I've not been on the YouTube grind but I'm, I'm back on it. Okay here I am. I'm vlogging, I'm editing, what more do you want from me? Today is another nothing day. It is half term right now, so I don't have work because there's no schools open for me to go and work at. So the only thing I really wanted to do was go on a run. I've already done that. I ran five miles. I was pretty quick, actually. I think I did like nine minute 15. Yeah. Okay, that's so stupid. You're not gonna be able to see that. Nine minute 15 average. So pretty pleased with myself. Shower, need to do some ironing, need to do some revision, but that's it really. The only other things that I have written in my diary that I have to do today are iron my clothes and buy train tickets to go to Warwick this weekend. So I hope we're all excited. issues with my skin recently particularly on my cheeks and they've never flared up before so i'm getting quite irritated but my friend recommended this face mask it's l'oreal pure clay blemish mask that's a mouthful and it does really work i think i use it three times a week but then i walk around all day looking like an eggy smurf like this also that reminds me this is potentially one of the most embarrassing things that's ever happened to me and at the time i cried really hard but it is kind of funny i think basically if the be real goes off and i'm in the bath I'll always take it if I'm on time. I'll just take the front zoomed in, obviously, and then the background, I'll zoom in and make sure there are no reflective surfaces or anything. So the other week, two weeks ago, bureau goes off, I'm in the bath watching the circle, I whatever, no biggie, I do it all the time. And then I see my friend calls me and I'm like, I'm in the bath, so I don't pick it up. Then he calls me again, I'm like, okay, whatever. Then I see my phone flashing with notifications and I'm like, oh my God, what does he want? I open my phone, it's like, delete your be real, delete your be real, delete your be real. I think, what? And he's like, your behind the scenes is on. If you don't have be real basically a normal be real is a photo it takes front camera back camera and you can turn something on called behind the scenes and it will record you from the moment you pick up your phone to the moment you take your be real i think it's to encourage not posing and stuff just like actually being real okay now i always have my behind the scenes off but a couple of days before this incident my phone was just bugging crazy so i deleted be real and then i reinstalled it and it must have reset to factory settings so the behind the scenes is on now you can imagine I picked up my phone, I'm in the bath, I was like doing whatever before I take my be real. I don't know what it was, okay? This is like some guy that I used to go to Taekwondo with. I was like, I don't want to know. I just deleted it. It's still a mystery to me, but like potentially the whole world has seen my badge. I don't know. It was only up for five minutes, so I'm telling myself that he's the only one that saw it, but I flashed the internet once, it's not happening again. I'm gonna wash myself and turn the camera off. <laughs> I'm just gonna do some makeup quickly but I'm gonna leave my base alone because of the whole skin situation. Why do I have this many drugs in my handbag? I feel like that's overkill a little bit. No one is gonna get ill enough that they need 58 paracetamol and ibuprofen. Edited. it's just exporting now quick OOTD because I forgot to do it when I got changed today we are wearing trousers from Bershka I got them in Spain then the hoodie was my mother's it's from the University of Exeter Christian Union circa 2000 
not sure this one's going in the Hall of Fame, but that's alright. I hope we're ready because it's time for the highly anticipated segment of this vlog. <laughs> My train tickets to go to Warwick this weekend, second main event of the day, and it lets you put in your seating preferences like aisle, window seat, near luggage rack, blah blah. Who the hell picks backwards facing as their preferred direction of travel? Whenever I get on the train, I will always ask, even if it's one that I've gotten a million times before, which way is forward facing? Because I will not sit backwards facing, I'll throw up all over myself. What kind of psychopath picks backwards facing? They shouldn't be allowed on trains. <laughs> Okay, I've finished up with all my quests for today, so I'm going to put some teeth whitening strips in and then I'm going to go and do some chemistry revision. What are we going to revise? Not sure yet. Stick around to find out. Let's pull off the craziest transition ever already. Hope that came out really cool. I'm gonna use Taekwondo now, so I'll catch you guys in two hours or so. <laughs> Okay, I got back from Taekwondo about an hour ago. As you might be able to tell, it didn't go incredibly. I've just cried for about an hour and a quarter over honestly not really anything. Basically, it's such a stupid story, but for completion, I was at Taekwondo and I was doing a demonstration in front of the class and I did it and my master, who in Taekwondo terms, that's the person that owns your club, he went, no, that's wrong, do it again. And I thought, that's not wrong, but I did it again. And then he was like, no, that's not right. And he didn't shout at me in a horrible way, but he was like, oh, can you shut up? I'm being emo. Anyway, then my master, bear in mind I'm at the front and everyone's watching me, he's like, oh, like, that's so embarrassing. Like, call yourself a third dad. How are you getting that wrong? Blah, blah. Like, and I could feel myself getting frustrated because I was like, I know I haven't got it wrong. And I asked my sister afterwards and she was like, you haven't got it wrong. And then because he had picked up on one thing, it's like, if you're thinking of a red car, you'll always see red cars. Then he started just picking on me, like, oh, do that again. Oh, no, that's not right. And, like, half the time I was right. Fair enough, one time my back stance was a bit off. But all the other times, I was fine. He kept picking up on me, and I could feel myself, like, getting angry and angry, and I was blinking my tears. Okay, crying tutorial. So I have this second TikTok account. I just save loads of posts. They probably all got hashtag core core. The one I feel like a good cry, just click through them. Look, there's loads. I don't have to blur any of these because they're a bit too emo. Some of them are good, like, look. That's hashtag hope core. It takes me about an hour to read all of them. Then I just have a good old cry. Factory reset. Surprisingly, I seem to have made it through the hardships of today. Many thanks to my journal and my dog, who slotted herself in very conveniently. I'm going to watch the latest Italian batch upload, which is about horny TikTok chefs again, and then I'm going to head off to sleep. I do apologise for the slightly emo ending to today's vlog. I've been trying to steer away from that, not crying videos and stuff, because basically I had to take down a bunch of my old vlogs because they were just too depressing i'm just moaning crying all the time which to be fair is a large part of my life but today a couple of tears slipped in quite late in the day so i am still going to post this video okay on that note don't forget to hit like and subscribe follow me on instagram send me an email telling me how much you love me don't do that because i think you're going to stalk me i'll probably block your email address maybe just the first few things would be nice Actually, just you watching to this point is nice enough. Thanks, guys. Eat.
love you all Mwah. good night <laughs>